Extra, extra, for y'all about it. This is all about you, Libra. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This right here that we're going, we're heading into is an energy reading. It's done with oracle cards. It is not a horoscope. Um, but it is, um, it, it, it is going to be supplemented by an extended reading, which is a full tarot card spread that extends and uh, specifies, articulates, and expands upon the energies that we pick up here. And that link is below and also includes a romantic tarot. Um, uh, romantic reading specifically. Uh, no dates on this video anymore. I don't put them because people don't really care about them. Um, but I do upload a new video every single week that is Libra specific. So if you want them fresh off the press, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. You'll help the channel grow and you'll be able to ring that bell so you get the notifications right away. I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody's healthy. And just so you know, there might be some yelling in the background. I apologize for that because I'm in a loft and you can hear everything that's going on in the rest of the house. So my apologies ahead of time. That won't be a regular thing in each video. Um, I'm going to attach the romantic tarot above so that you guys can, uh, you guys have a little bit of a preview as to what you can expect with your romantic life too. And if you're really curious, you can go to the who's coming towards you, which is in the extended uh, romantic tarot. Ooh, Libra, 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 Libra. Something popped out, but it, it's keeping its face down. This is you, okay? Embrace the in-between and time to collaborate. This to me is like a temporary, uh, like a temporary fix, a temporary partnership, a partnership that is good for right now and that you need for right now coming together in terms of, or just letting things be and letting things be um, contented for how they are right now. This is a sense of love, yes, because this is your energy. But it's a balanced energy, so it's two plus six is eight. This is a sense of a, this is a sense of being in the present moment and not thinking too far into the future. Um, using what you have in terms of your partnership, in terms of your relationship, whatever partnership or relationship that is most significant to you right now, making the best out of what you have. Basically, that could be being in a temporary temporary relationship. That could be doing quarantine hookups. That could be getting along or pacifying and being somebody who. Uh, like, like, because that's your energy, right? Making, making the best out of the, the moment right now, out of your partnership or whatever you're collaborating with, with each other. This is the energy that's crowning your reading. So it's basically going to permeate all the other energies that we see. So this is telling me that your mind and your focus is on partnership right now, working with people, working, um, working for, not working for people, working for the betterment of other people, making, like taking what you have taking what's available to you and using it so that could be also being in a relationship that you're not necessarily thrilled about but it's what's available to you right now especially if you feel incomplete or not whole if you are not in a relationship that's something that we need to go into a little bit deeper anyway but Embrace the in-between and time to collaborate. Um, this could also be basically who's in front of you, look in front of you, take a second look. You might, you might want to take a second look as to what you have available because uh, for some reason that may, um, it may end up being more than you expected it ever could be. Okay, so... Next energies that are coming out, transformation is beautiful. So awakening to the possibilities and potentials of something becoming more than what it is right now. Something that is changing. It could be you that is changing or their feelings that are changing. This sense of somebody awakening to you, realizing you, seeing you for the first time or seeing the potential. Transforming internally to a point where you're never going to be able to go back. So whatever is going on in your particular partnerships right now, the change is a permanent one. It's not going to be something that you can reverse. You can't, you can't come back from this. But it does imply that th this is scorpionic energy. So it implies that there may have been a near ruination and almost breakup. But then something happened. A transformation happened. Usually in the both of you to come together and make the relationship itself transform. And that 
it is like something that you can't go back from and something that you probably don't want to go back from. This could also be recognizing that you need to be with some other people. You need to be that, that what you have right now isn't fulfilling. It's maybe sustaining you for what it is right now, but it's really not fulfilling you in that your soul tribe lies elsewhere, exists beyond what you have right now. Hmm. Um, you are never alone. Four plus two, the energy of your heart calling to you. Somebody, somebody that really appeals to your heart, calling you, togetherness, love, a true love. What I heard when this card popped out was that somebody is calling you. Somebody at a distance is calling to you. I don't know if you're separate right now, making the best out of a situation that you have with your partner, with your soulmate, uh, maybe with your job, reaching out to people uh, via, the Skype, via Skype, whatever this is. But this is implying uh, either actual health, which is like heart health, or this is implying the actual heart space, the emotion, coming together and healing yourself, transforming to heal. So this could be just going right at that exercise routine, transforming who you are and how you take care of yourself and how much you prioritize your health. Or it could be, and more likely, this is a sense of headed towards something or wanting to go towards something, transforming, wanting to go towards something that you really connect to. Oh, happy birthday, Doug Denny. It's 623. Um... Um, I, in other words, that you really connect to, uh, or, or it, going through a transformation with your partner that's actually bringing the two of you closer together. Either way, you're awakening to a stronger connection, whether that's a connection outside of you that you're being called toward, or it's a connection that's deeper, like a transformation of your current relationship or situation that would be up to you. Leave the comments below. Let me know what's going on. Uh, freedom is yours. So 33 adds up to six as well. This is six plus six energy. Once again, uh, very loving energy uh, coming together. Earth energy, very secure, very warm, very loving. Um, but this is freedom, Aquarius energy, being liberated and feeling not guilty for what you feel. So Aquarius energy is very guilt-free. It's, it's very unemotional. And this doesn't mean that you're unemotional. It just means that you feel free to feel whatever you need to feel, that you feel, that you feel free when it comes to your feelings. It's like finally you can release or feel secure in, in or, or share what it is you feel. So it could very well have been you were waiting, you were trying not to talk about it, you were trying not to, you were like holding back your emotions. And now your emotions are coming out and they're not controlling you anymore and you're not afraid to show them anymore. Mm. What's, ooh, bring your ideas to life. Once again, this is four plus two. So now this is 666, which adds, which is the number sign of the beast, which is more of, there could be some vanity here. Um, there could be a sense of um, selfishness here. Of uh, There could be a sense of selling out, selling out your soul in order to make something happen. Um, ooh, uh, I don't really love that energy. Bring your ideas to life. Putting everything that you are into making this circumstance or situation work. If I let go of the numerology, I could definitely say... But this is a really wonderful central energy to have because essentially what it is, is it's bringing something to life. Electricity is, it's, a, it's the spark of life. That's what this energy is. So it's literally some, from something coming to life, which falls right into step with this transition, this newness, this coming out. Something new is coming to life. You're, you're bringing it into existence. This could be an actual birth. Um... Or it could be, I think, almost like being liberated, getting your soul back in some ways. Um, sing your own song, being more sincere, getting back to a more sincere state. This is Gemini energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini, but this is also a card of liberation, of being free from that feeling of obligation. You could have been suppressed. You could have been lost in the crowd. You could have felt like you sold your soul out, like you were repressing your soul or suppressing your soul in order to please others and fit in. This is you getting your sense of self back and sharing it out loud, speaking it through speaking, through song, through communication, through words, through 
personal communication, one-on-one -on -one communication, finally telling somebody what you really feel. And in doing that, sparking a whole new, almost like domino effect that basically transforms your life. Mm. Um, to trust in divine detours. Uh, this is the energy of um, coyote energy. Uh, so coyote teaches us how to be, um, coyote teaches us actually, um, it's a loving and caring relation, uh, a loving and caring energy, but it also teaches us to be very flexible, very malleable. Um, one plus six equals seven. So you're working on something, cunning. Coyote can also be very cunning. Um, so this can be very strategic. I know Aquarius, and Aquarius is showing up in your reading a lot. Aquarius uh, had something um a strategy it was very strategic there they had they had something they were planning even if it was at great personal cost this is trust and divine detours uh taking that sharp turn allowing yourself i almost feel like it's the universe coming and veering you off your course because for some reason you were suppressing yourself or you were not saying what you needed to say and suddenly it's almost like putting you in a situation where you're forced to do it it doesn't want you to sell out it doesn't want you to lose your soul or give yourself over to pop culture what it wants you to do is maintain your individuality libra and it wants you to keep saying what you need to say even if people don't want to hear it it could very well be your voice or your words that change the game in some way um take it's almost like i know you guys get really caught up in not like trying to pacify everything and not making decisions but the truth is something about the way that you're talking something about the way that you're making statements is whether you just whether you know it or not you're showing what you feel you're you're showing what you think even though if somebody asked you directly you'd want to give them a very um a very diplomatic answer because you are the diplomat of the zodiac but what what you've been sharing off the cusp is very much demonstrating what it is you really feel this is sagittarius energy um so that means um uh making chaos like enjoying the chaos thriving in the chaos um um, but also sort of uh, bringing accountability into the chaos. I think you're pointing something out. I do. Um, set healthy boundaries. This is the energy of three. So this is balance. This is Cancerian energy. And very unbalanced or unharmonious Cancerian energy. It's that kind of energy where you're taking too much on yourself and you're allowing things to build up and get too heavy, like carrying too much baggage and you're getting buried under it and you need help, but you can't ask for help. So this is that energy or reminder that you have to set boundaries. There is a sense of maybe you've been saying too much or spewing too much or, um, you know, taking too many liberties. And there is a sense of being, um, there is a sense of reevaluating the boundaries that you're setting or not setting. But this would imply that you feel a great burden. So it's almost like somebody's trying to keep you from saying what you need to say or guilt you into not saying those things that you feel so heavy in your heart. This is a, a heavy looming pressure, a lot of stress. This is unhealthy boundaries, boundaries that are too tall, too high, and too restrictive. Um, and here we have your grounding energy, take a leap of faith, also the energy of three, which means in order to get away from this energy, you're just going to have to take a leap of faith and trust that where you're going to land is a soft cushioned area, um, but you're not going to be able to know it. So Libra, this is basically, you have to go with your heart, you have to go with your faith, you have to follow it. This is actually lucky, so if you do, that will bring you fortune. Um, Usually, take a leap, hold on, Grasshopper is more music making. Open to infinite possibilities has come out in your grounding energy. Nine plus five equals 14, which adds up to five. Something is changing, and something is changing in your perspective. Either you've gotten extremely focused and you don't wanna focus on the broad spectrum, you have razor sharp focus, you know exactly what it is you want, and you're putting all your eggs in one basket because honestly that one basket means the most to you. That's kind of your grounding energy, so it's almost what's stabilizing you in some way. This, um, this super focus, uh, usually super focus is not something that you guys, um, that Libra is very good at, but there seems to be a hyper focus that you're just, you're just, you're just 
head going headlong into um, and then use your mind wisely uh, making the impossible happen also the energy of seven plus four I really think that you're pointing out to people how they're selling out and how they're um, how they're selling out how they're uh, succumbing to social pressures I really feel like you're speaking out of against it in somehow in some way or you're pointing it out to your spouse how this your spouse is uh, is isn't doing enough or you know in terms of it has it's affecting your partnership how you feel like how you talk about things and what you're pointing out and this is making the impossible happen so there is a good chance that what you're working on and what is so important to you is absolutely going to come to fruition because only the hard work and bees get the honey but this card shows up to say you know you have a strong sense of self this is leo energy this is knowing yourself knowing your heart space believing in your heart believing in what's in your heart and building it with confidence and it's the confidence in that self-faith, that self-worth that is actually making the possible happen. There's a lot of focus here. You have decided that you know exactly where your fortune lies and you're directing yourself to it. Now, if that is another relationship or putting everything into this current relationship, this is a sense of, this is a sense of knowing ultimately what your direction is. And even if you're not able to live in where you're focused right now, like live, live in the correct relationship or live in the correct atmosphere, whatever it is. Um, there's this energy of just, just, um, modulating and, um, maneuvering within the, your current circumstance because this hope and because this, because this faith and because this focus has become that anchor that allows you to see, guess what? There's hope on the other side. Things are going to get better and it's that razor sharp focus that is giving you that anchor and giving you that grounding. Libra, let me flip the camera around. Hold on. So overall, what this re reading is implying is if you make a decision, if you make a choice and focus on the choice and have faith in the choice, it's going to give you the serenity that you need. There could be some sort of ambiguity right now in your relationship or your partnership that is really driving you nuts and you can't make a decision. And it's almost like you keep expecting like the, the decision or um, the decision or like, yeah, some, something to convince you, but that's not where the convincing has to come from. The central energy is you deciding. And I know that that can be very difficult for you, but there is underneath that need to decide that is very difficult. There is a passion. So what is your passion? Your passion is what I'm saying will make the decisions for you. Do you really love the person? Do you really love that job? Do you like, where is your heart really? Where does your heart feel free? Where does your heart feel alive? Because that in and of itself, you, you don't have to say yes or no Libra. All you have to do is align yourself with where your heart feels free and bountiful and beautiful beautiful and that will automatically direct you away from the pitfalls and where you don't want to be so I'm going to go over into the extended to see if we can extrapolate of course we're going to extra extrapolate more information and specifics from this reading and also that is where your romantic tarot your romance reading happens so Libra the link is down below and I will see you over in the extended